I'm gonna shoot for the stars. Hello everyone, welcome to the Marcel Wells iHeartRadio Show. I'm your girl Marcel Wells and today I love Piper Raquel. Hi Piper. Hi everybody. So how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I have a very exciting day planned. Awesome, that's amazing. Now, congratulations to your new song, Sidewalk. The last time I saw the streams, it was about 96,000 streams, I believe. So that's awesome. You just posted it six days ago. Now tell me a little bit about your song. So my song is really about just like hanging out with friends. You know, my last song was like treating yourself, but I feel like this is honestly like the same kind of thing, you know, just shopping with your friends, having fun. That's really what I want to put out right now because, you know, we're all kind of quarantined and it's a little hard to have like fun with friends, so. Right, that's amazing. Now, how was like the creative process of it? Like writing it, being in a studio? Tell us about that. It was so amazing. I'm actually about to record another song like really, really soon. But like, yeah, I went to the studio and I recorded it and it was like so much fun. It was a dream come true. This is actually my third song. And I think it's been the best yet. Like I love it so much. I'm getting such good feedback and I love it. I love it too. I heard it. I saw the music video. It was absolutely awesome. Now, it's your happy, right? Like you can't like just stop yourself from dancing to it. <laughs> I know, right? I kept on just grooving to it. It's a great like song. I love it so much. Now, how was like the how was like the creative process of making the music video? Like, did you have any input in like the music video itself? Oh, yeah. It. I mean, like it was already kind of like set, but when we were filming it, I like would change some stuff and. It was a little hard to film the music video because, you know, we had to make sure we didn't get, like, people in it and all, like, that stuff. But otherwise, it was really amazing, and I really want to thank my friends for being in it and helping me. That's awesome. I saw the whole, like, dance choreography and everything. I love, like, the setup. Yes. And it took a long time to learn that choreography. It wasn't even, like, that hard, but, like, it took us a long time because it was, like, four girls, and we all had to, like, be super nice. Yes, that's awesome. Now, I know you made another song nine months ago called Treat Myself. Yeah. I, I love that song so much as well. You got 17 million views. Congratulations on that success, too. That's amazing. I, I love Treat Myself so much because when I go on tour, I usually perform that, which sadly tour is postponed, but I performed it two times, which was so amazing. I literally, like, I was so nervous that actually perform like live on stage because like what if I mess up um but but I, yeah that's I, my favorite song <laughs> yes I love that song too I love the music video y'all had like the your robes and like your hair up and it was so cute I love that so much as well now when you said tour, I was about to like ask you a question about tour I know it's postponed now but just tell us a little bit like what happens when you go on tour? Like, I know you're with your friends, your best friends, so just tell us a little bit about that. So we basically like leave really early in the morning and then we go to a place and we like get ready and then we go like to the actual tour spot and then we do it. Then we leave the like next morning. It's a little like, it's a little stressful because like it's just like back to back and everything you do is just like, it's just, it's tight. <laughs> so, but it's literally one of my favorite things. Like. I, it's like a lot of work, but it's like the best work ever because like this last tour that I did that got postponed, I brought my whole entire like squad and they had so much fun. And it was it's just a really nice time to like get to know each other and meet everybody. And usually I meet like up to like three hundred kids like at one spot. Wow. And so tiring at the end. I usually have to do like a bunch of photos at the end, but it's all worth it because. They're, like, so amazing, and everybody there is so nice. That is amazing. I'm so sorry I got postponed, but I know you're going to get back on track with tour and everything. That's going to be awesome. Now, speaking of your squad, I know y'all have this group, like, full group of teenagers. Some of them are Sophia Fergie, Simone Harris, and Emily Dobson. Now, how did you start that whole squad? Okay, so I've always really, like, dreamed of, like, okay, so I never went to public school, so I never really had, like, a big friend group so I always wanted to kind of have a big friend group and all of these friends I just I was like I need some help with my YouTube channel so I was like do you want to do YouTube with me and they started and we kind of all just had this amazing bond and we literally are all like family we hang out with each other like no joke every single day because we film videos every single day 
So yeah, we literally are like family. So it's so fun. That's amazing. I know you have this huge YouTube channel that has 5 million subscribers. That's amazing. And I know you do lots of challenges with your friends, your best friends, your boyfriend. And I know one of them was like the first to drop your girlfriend. I mean, the last to drop your girlfriend get $10,000. And one was like, yeah. and like, it's so many like crazy and amazing ideas. How do you come up with all those ideas? I really try to find what's trending because that's usually what does the best. So I go on other people's like really like popular videos and I don't like copy them exactly. I don't do that. I try to find any sort of way to make it different, but that's really what it is. You have to just follow the trends. Nice. That's awesome. I love how you co collaborate your friends with it. So it's like like a, like a friend or like it's like a it's like um how do I say like a friendship type of bond thing. I love that you co collab. Yeah. I love that so much. Now, I know you were also on the show Manny and Chicken Girls playing the role of Sky on, like, the huge, like, television show Bratz. Now, tell us about that role. Um, I actually do not work with Brat anymore, so. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Do you want us to tell us about, like, your role in Sky? Because I know you were in those two big shows, like, just her character and everything. Cause well, that was a long time ago. I was like nine and it was so much fun. That was like my big first like thing that I've ever done. And I actually had like real lines and I like got to actually like say stuff. It was so much fun. Um, but unfortunately I'm not doing that show anymore. But for the time being it was so much fun. Sky was like literally my favorite character. It was basically me just like uh like uh, modified me, I guess. Mm -hmm. But I had so much fun with all the people on set. Um, Manny was so much fun to hang out with, and I just had a lot of fun. Well, that's awesome. Do you see yourself doing any more acting roles in the future? I do, like, do acting classes, but acting is not, like, my biggest, like, thing that I want to do. YouTube mm -hmm. is singing. So if an acting role comes my way, I would love to do it, but it's not something that I really, really... I'm trying to find something for it. And that's totally fine. I know you're only our singing career path. Now, I know you actually snippet a little bit of your new song called Baby I. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I'm actually going to record it really, really soon. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And can I tell them that, you know, it's going to be in it? Okay. So, I mean, like, usually my song is just, like, me. But I wanted to, like, have something really fun, so my boyfriend Lev is going to actually be in it. He's, he has, like, a little little part in it, which you guys are going to be really excited to see. I'm excited for you guys to see it. That's so exciting. Can you tell us, like, a date or, like, where it might be posted? Like, it will be posted next year or still this year? Like, just tell us a little bit about that. Like, it's going to be really, really soon, but, like, in a couple months. Oh, guys, stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. Now, I know you call your friends Piper Rotsi. I love that name so much. How did y'all come up with that name for your fans? Well, you know, my mother is so creative. And, like, literally when we, like, first started doing social media, we did this TikTok, and it was to the song Paparazzi. You know that song? Mm -hmm. And my great idea would be, like, calling your, like, family the Piperazzi's. And I was like, that's so amazing. So we just, like, literally have had that since, like, day one it's been it was crazy that's amazing i love i like piper paparazzi i love how that just like joins together it's such a great name yes. such a great name now i know you also dance as well i saw a couple of your dance videos on instagram now do you create any of your own dances um on tiktok i actually do but not in like the dance videos because i used to be a competitive dancer and i can't really like do it myself I but I, I probably can but like I just choose not to. But yeah, before all of this, I did pageants and competitive dancing. So, yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. Now, you also have, like, a cat rescue effort. You like to rescue, like, animals and things like that. Tell us a little bit about that and your foundation. So, ever since I was born, my mom literally, like, always, like, tried to rescue any single cat, like, she saw. And I literally, like... And like that now, like anywhere I go, I probably see a cat and I'm like, we need to catch it. I usually like successful, but sometimes I can't catch them all. But we actually went to this place, it's called Bombay Beach, and we spayed and neutered at least about like 70 of the cats there. And I just really love helping out animals. I feel like cats should be treated better because I feel like they're just like, they're just, I feel like people like dogs better, <laughs> but like, I can see that. 
I love dogs. Like, I have a pug. He's amazing. But cats are probably, like, my favorite ever. So I just really want to help cats out because they're just so amazing. And they literally just make me so happy. If I'm having a bad day, I can literally just hang out with cats. Like, I love that. I love cats, too. They're so cute and so little. That's amazing that y'all rescue cats and y'all are, like, helping out animals and all that amazing stuff. I've That's amazing. All my life. I love it so much. That's amazing. Now, on February the 26th, you announced that you are actually verified on Instagram. How did that help, like, launch your career, help, you know, shift your career? I literally, like, I think I had, like, two million at the time and i was not like i was like why don't i like why am i not verified i know it's just very confusing but one day i just woke up and i was verified and it was so exciting i literally like have been wearing that forever and i have it and some of like the people in my squad are actually verified which is really cool because like it's just cool like <laughs> i don't know that's literally crazy. Congratulations again to you. So much amazing success. I love it so much. Now, I know you're originally from Georgia. How was it like packing up all your stuff and moving to the big L.A. to, like, start your dreams? So, it was actually a weird transition. I came to L.A. once for, like, this meet and greet for, like, Musical.ly or something. And we saw that, like, we did a lot, like, better, like, on our views and stuff while we were here. So, we were kind of back and forth to, like, Georgia and L.A., and I feel like we still kind of are back and forth because, like, every few months, I usually go back to Georgia for, like, three weeks. Wow. Three weeks. <laughs> and I just love it there because it's, like, the country and, you know, my family's there. And that's why I was, like, born and raised. So, like, I really love going there. But L.A. is, like, my workplace. I have all my friends here. I work, work, work. And I like having the two different places. So I didn't, like, pack everything up and move here. It was just kind of, like, a weird little transition there. Nice. Well, that's great that you have, like, a good balance from Georgia and L.A. and you, like, have your friends here and also friends back there. That's amazing. It was so hard during quarantine because I couldn't see them for, like, mm -hmm. this, this, like almost, like, five months. It was so, I cried, like, a lot because I wanted to see them so badly. But I just went there and it was so much fun. I had the best time ever. Awesome. I'm so happy you got to come back, go back to Georgia. That's awesome. That's amazing. No. What is a regular day like for Piper Raquel? Okay, so um, in the mornings, I usually do some school, which I'm like kind of on like summer break right now, but um, I do school and then I usually get ready and then I help my mom with like all the chores around the house because we have like cats, so we have to like, you know, clean the litter box and stuff. Then mm -hmm. once I'm like fully ready, I usually do a TikTok and then my squad comes over and we do 13, can you not? Uh huh. Then we usually do three videos a day, and then we usually have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. And that's when I do absolutely nothing except just hang out with everybody. And those are, like, my favorite things because I don't do anything. So That's amazing. When did you know that you had a passion for YouTube? You've been doing YouTube for about, I believe, three years, which is amazing. And you grew, like, so fast, so quickly. So when did you know you really wanted to become, like, a YouTuber? <laughs> Um, I've always loved being on stage and showing people, oh my god, 13. <laughs> I've always loved just showing people, like, my personality, I love to be on stage, and I would always watch those little, like, unboxing videos of, like, toys and stuff, and I was like, mom, I want to do this. So then I did one, and, like, you know, it didn't work, but finally I posted my first YouTube video. The cat is being so annoying. Uh -huh. <laughs> video, and... It didn't do the best because I, like, was just, like, squishing squishies. But once I was doing that, it was so much fun. Like, I had, like, I, like, felt like I knew what I was doing. Yes, it can get hard sometimes with, like, the hate and also, like, working all the time. And I feel like sometimes people can, like, take it from, like, I'm not working at all because I'm just, like, doing YouTube. But it's a lot harder than it looks because I don't only have to do, like, my two videos a week. I have to do everybody's video for the week. So... Because I think I have, like, 12 people in my squad, so I have to usually do, like, 11 to 10 videos. Like, it's That's crazy. crazy. But, I, but I love it so much because I get to hang out with my friends, and we literally have such a fun time. And, like, this weekend, we're actually going on, like, a little, like, mini vacay thing with, like, all my friends. So I'm so excited. That's actually where I'm going after this. So, so excited. Oh, that's so exciting. I love how you just collaborate with all your friends and you just love, you have like a 
passion for YouTube, which is amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Now, I know you work with a couple of brands like Fashion Nova and like a couple other like fashion sites. Do you see in the future that you might come out with your own fashion? I know you have your own merch line, which is awesome. I love fashion, but I feel like I haven't really found, like, my thing. I feel like I'm kind of everywhere. Like, sometimes I'm, like, really cute, like, sweatpants. Mm-hmm. And stuff that I on, like, a really, like, fancy shirt. So, like, I feel like once I find my, like, good, like, I don't know what to say. Like, a, a good niche? style. Yeah, good yeah. style. I would love to do that. And also with my merch, I like to, like, try to add in some things that, like, I love. Like, I have these tops that are, like, so adorable because, like, I wanted to do this because, like, I had a top like that, and I was like, this is cute, and I want to do a top like this. And I also have slides, which I love for slides because they're so comfy and, like, yeah, so that's why I love to have merch because I just feel like I could do whatever I want with it. Yes, and you also wear your own merch. Like, also, everyone, get the sidewalk merch. I saw the top. It's so cute. I love it so much on your merch slide. And also, your new baby eye. I saw the, like, the, um, what's it called, the face mask that I saw in your merch line, which is so awesome. I love all of it. Now, my two and last questions for you. Number one, get, tell us something that no one knows about you. And then the second one is, why should people follow your journey? Okay, something that nobody knows about me. Um, I have a lot of those things, but I guess <laughs> I guess knows about me. It's kind of a weird thing, okay? Don't get weirded out. I have really clammy hands. Like, they're really bad. And also, one of my best friends, Jensen, he has very, very clammy hands. So, like, sometimes, like, sweat just drips off of our hands. It's really gross. <laughs> I have... We're keeping that secret. <laughs> oh, my God. I love that. Thank you so much for sharing that. I totally understand. Sometimes, you know, when, like, someone wants to reach out and, like, shake your head, I'm like, oh, I don't know, because I might be a little, like, sweaty or dry or just weird. I- it, like, affects my life. Like, I can't do stuff that everybody can do. My hands are clammy. Like, I can't, like, open stuff, like, cute because, like, it just, like, slides everywhere. It's just not good. Um, but the last question that you asked, I would love people to follow my journey because I really try to spread smiles because sometimes I know that I can get down and other people can get down, too. And I would really love to have somebody that would literally just, like, pick me up and just, like, make me happy. So that's what I'm trying to do. And that's literally been my goal since I started YouTube. Like anytime I would get asked this question, this is what I would say. I'm just trying to make people, why did that just happen? I'm just trying to make people smile. And I would love for them to join the journey because I want to make them smile. That's amazing. I love that answer to make people smile. You hear this first, folks. Piper Raquel, thank you so much for coming on my show. I had so much fun talking to you. Yes, and as well, stream her new song, Sidewalk. It's amazing. It's such a good jam to, like, jam in the car and, like, just walk and strut down the sidewalk with your best friends and everything. Yes, I love it so much. Thank you so much for coming. And also, go follow Piper's journey on all her social media medias piper raquel everywhere and yeah i had such a great time guys don't forget to follow marcel wells i have radio show and hear more stuff thank you guys so much for watching bye Subscribe to Marcel's iHeart Radio Show for more info on your favorite influencers, celebrities, and what's happening now. And watch the Marcel TV channel on VTV. Streaming now on Apple TV, Fire TV, Roku, and Android TV. To connect, DM at Marcel Wells.